Hey guys, um, I'm so excited to do a video today. I'm going to be testing out the Dermacol Makeup Cover Foundation. It's supposed to be the most full coverage foundation in the world. So um, I'm really excited to test this out. I got it from Amazon and it comes in this little packet right here. And um, I got it from Amazon for like $14, I think. I got it because I saw a couple of um, makeup gurus um, on YouTube. They tried it and it was like apparently the most crazy, the craziest thing in the world. It's really truly supposed to be the most full coverage foundation ever. So I'm really excited to try it out. And um, like I said, it was like $14. A couple things. This is color 207 and I opened it and I know it's not my color it's too dark but um we're gonna work with what we got today um a couple of things it says is clinically tested hypoallergenic and high coverage Dermacol makeup cover is one of the first cover-up makeup products released on the world market its formula was developed I don't care where it was developed um it's unique creamy consistency containing 50% pigment, hides uneven skin color, blemishes, smooths the skin, smooths, smooths the skin, smoothing the skin, smoothens, smoothens the skin, smoothens the skin. Is that what I said in the beginning? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, um, smooths the skin, gives it a velvety matte appearance. Provides the skin with intense protection against UV radiation, which has um, SPF 30 in it, as well as harmful effects of the environment. It can be used on the entire face and body for color correction, lightening or darkening skin tones, or for cutting. Okay, I don't care. I just really want to try it. This is what it looks like. And gosh, it's really hot in here. It's like I'm in Virginia and the weather like it has a mind of its own and i'm it's cold one minute it's hot the next minute and today it's hot and it's hot in here. the window open the air condition this shit is everywhere oh sorry so i'm going to um clarify my face first i don't have any makeup on and this is the clinique clarifying lotion What's it called? Um, shoot. I don't know what it's actually called. I've lost the name for it. I'm going to put that on my face. You don't scrub. You just like wipe. Gets the dead skin off and things like that. And any like nasty stuff you had on. Like your face. It's, it's this, I like this a lot, but it, you can, there's a lot of alcohol in it and you can smell it and it kind of burns your eyes. So I wouldn't get too close to your eyes, but like I've washed my face. This is really gross and look how dirty that is. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right. Um, let's just try this bad boy out. I'm really excited. Like I said, I don't, this doesn't look like it's my color. It looks pretty dark and I'm not sure if it oxidizes or anything. And I've seen people use a ble uh, beauty blender, but I can't find mine, so I'm just going to use my trusty old brush and see what happens. See what? She's super thick. Oh my god. Okay, so no, not my color, but holy moly is all I can say. This stuff is like super thick. This is crazy. This is like paint. Ow. I've only dipped in once. Like this stuff's going all over my face. Like, okay. This side of my face. This side of my face. Like, are you joking? with me right now you would have to put it on your neck it's like 
crazy. So let me talk to you guys for a second. I know you didn't come here for a lecture, but makeup is like meant to enhance the beauty that you already have. It's not like I know this is full coverage foundation right now and we want to cover our blemishes and everything, but it's like meant, like I said, to enhance the beauty you already have. It's not supposed to like make you look like somebody else, but at the same time, if you want to do that, like do it, do whatever makes you feel beautiful and make whatever makes you feel happy. And like so many times people are like, guys like girls who are natural, guys like girls who look natural and don't have any makeup on. Okay, well, first of all, you think natural is like Kim Kardashian and that's not natural. Like she wears makeup. She has a professional makeup artist who makes her look the way she does. Like I've heard so many people like say that. And second of all, I wear makeup for my damn self. Okay. Like I wear makeup because I want to wear makeup. I don't wear makeup for anybody else but myself. And for a really long time, when I was a little bit younger, I could not go a day without wearing makeup because I was like, really didn't like who I was. I didn't like who I saw in the mirror. I was really self-conscious. This is actually really pretty. Like the more that I'm sitting here and it's like, um, soaking into my skin. It actually smells pretty good too. I kind of feel like I have makeup on though. Anyways, when I was younger, I couldn't like go a day without wearing makeup because I didn't like who I was. I didn't like who I saw in the mirror. I didn't think I was pretty. I always felt like super self-conscious about myself. And I was like, I would not like go anywhere without makeup on because I felt really bad about myself. And here recently, like now you can ask the girls that I work with or like my friends, I go to work without makeup on all the time and it's because I'm comfortable with myself now. And to be honest, we're getting a little personal here, but I went through counseling and this isn't just, this stems from like a whole bad relationship and like all this stuff. It's not just like me being weird, but I went through counseling and she helped me like with who I was and how I felt about myself. And now I feel like I wear makeup now because like, like I said, I want to wear makeup. I don't wear makeup because of how I feel like anybody else sees me, if that makes any sense. Like I want to wear makeup because it's art and I think it's beautiful. And, um, you know, some days, yeah, I do have a blemish that I want to cover, but like most days I don't wear makeup and that's okay. Like you can wear as much makeup or as little makeup as you want to wear. Like don't let anybody tell you what looks okay or what's like, like what you're supposed to do or what you're supposed to wear. And I was like, like I said, really self-conscious about myself and how I look and it made me really depressed because I thought like I was supposed to look a certain way and like I said, it made me really depressed and sad and I just want you guys to know that yeah, I don't know you but if you feel, if you're like sad and you feel that way, you feel depressed like you're not alone. There's so many people in this world that feel that way. And I'm no, like I said, I don't know some of you guys, but I'm here for you. If you ever feel like you're by yourself, you're not like, I don't care if I don't know you. If you feel that way, if you're really down and you feel sad and you feel depressed, like reach out to me, reach out to somebody and we can talk, we can hang out, we can have lunch, we can do whatever you know, needs to be done so that you don't feel that way or you, or you don't, well, not that you don't feel that way because you, you know, you can't help how you feel, but that you don't feel alone and like you're the only one who's there because I know what it feels like to be alone and it's, it's not a good feeling. It's sad and I was never actually alone, but I know what it feels like to feel like you are. So I'm here if you want to talk and Anyways, that was my little rant. You guys, look at this mother effing found 
station. I can't even, like... Seriously, I said it wasn't my color, but actually, after I blended it out and, like, put it down my neck, I think it is. It's kind of, like, shiny right where I would put my highlight anyways. Let's get close. I mean, holy crap. That's crazy, right? Or am I just tripping? Or does it look good? Now, it's really heavy, like I said, so I don't think I would wear this every day. I would probably use it like a concealer. Like I would put it on things that I can't cover up with my normal foundation, but this is good for like makeup artists who like have an event they need to um, use or use it for or like stage makeup for theater things like that because this shit covers let's see how well it covers and put on my tattoo just to show you guys bro just put like a little bit use my finger oh my god you guys If this was like a lighter color, holy shit. Oh, I keep saying, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I keep cussing. Look at that. If this was like my skin color, this would be gone. That is nuts. Don't have one anymore. Don't have a tattoo anymore. Like, like I said, it's really heavy. And it's still covered. Like, I just wiped it and it's still like... There's still stuff on it. That's nuts. Look at that. So, would I pay $14 for this? Yes, I would. Oh my gosh. Like, look. Like, I didn't even feel like I had to blend it that, that much. Like, it was already there. Like, as soon as I put it on, I just did a couple of whatevers. It was blended. I don't know if it oxidizes, so maybe it'll oxidize dark. Let me feel. Well, it's okay. And it smells actually smells kind of good. It smells like perfume a little bit. Shoot. I'd pay $40 for this. I mean, like I said, I wouldn't wear it every day as like your base foundation. But I would spot treat with this and use concealer, use it as concealer. You could use it to like cover up your tattoos. Oh my gosh. I'm a fan. You can get it from Amazon. It is like everywhere though. So be careful of that. Um, they had a, like, this was the next to the lightest shade. They had a lighter shade than this. So if you're lighter than me. You might want to get that. It's really hard for me to find um, colors that match me because, like, I'm really pale, but I don't have pink undertones. I have yellow undertones because I'm Italian. I know it really looks like it, right? But if you saw my mom, you would believe me. Um, so it's hard because most people make, or a lot of people make foundations that have pink undertones, and I'm yellow, not pink. So... Asked my niece, she said, I asked her what color it was. She said, kind of white, but kind of yellow. So, anyways. Um, so, it's hard for me to find, like, a true match for me. But they're out there because I feel like this matched pretty well. I thought it wasn't going to until I put it on and blended. And it matches pretty good. So, I'm impressed. Like I said, I mean, obviously I haven't worn it for, like, a long time. But I did see... Some, this video is getting really long. Sorry. I did see where um, people um, were saying that it lasts about five or five to seven hours. It was like it's max and then it started breaking up and stuff. I would definitely put powder on to set it. I would not leave it just like this, but I'm not getting ready to do anything, so I'm not going to do all that. But um, I would definitely set it with some powder because it looks like it would slip and... That's not good. Definitely around your T-zones, especially. But for $14, like, why not? Oh, my gosh. Like, it's pretty nice. It's pretty full coverage. So, if you've been having a hard time and you're, like, really want that full coverage, 
this is what you need. It's, like I said, it's called Dermacol Makeup Cover. Um, it's from a different country, I believe. Made in Europe. So, you get it in Europe. Well, from Europe is what I mean. Um, but yeah, let me guys, let me guys, let me know what you guys like want to see. If you, I like really like doing these review videos. I need a hobby. Um, and like what kind of makeup brands and what kind of makeup products you want to see. And I will do them. Alright, see you later.